Hi, this is AJ, Director of Support for ESP Vision. This tutorial will walk you through how to install and configure the plugins for Vectorworks Spotlight 2015 on a Mac operating system. First thing we need to do is actually run the Vision Updater. This will download the latest Vision Add Plugins uh, application uh, that contains all the necessary files and configurations for uh, Vectorworks 2015. It shouldn't take too long to run, and as you can see, it's already completed. Uh, now all we need to do is open up our Vision folder, which is in Applications, find the Add Plugins app, and double click and run it. You'll notice that this one is good for Vectorworks 2014 and 2015. I'm going to hit continue here, accept the license agreement, uh, and then here's where you select which version of the plugins you want to install. I'm going to select Vectorworks 2015 plugins, and unless you've made any modifications to the default installation location of your Vectorworks 2015 Spotlight installation, you shouldn't have to make any modifications. If you have, then you need to browse to the folder that contains your Vectorworks 2015 app. I have not made any changes, so I'm going to simply hit continue and uh, then let uh, the add plugins launch the updater one more time. And what it's going to do here is it's going to download and install uh, the latest version of the Vectorworks 2015 symbols that Vision needs uh, for you to be able to integrate. Uh, this is about a 400 megabyte file, so I'm going to stop the, uh, the video while this is downloading, uh, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Now that the updater has completed, we can click on the Done button here. And the only thing that's left now is to the, uh, actually configure uh, the plugins in Vectorworks 2015. Once Vectorworks opens, you can go up to uh, the Tools menu, and it's important to come down to the Workspace area and make sure that Spotlight is checked, uh, since that's really where Vision would be most uh, beneficial. And we're going to edit the current Workspace. This will load the dialog for Workspace Editor uh, for Spotlight. Uh, I'm going to click on New Menu on the left, because what we want to do is we want to add a new menu up at the top uh, of our environment uh, for ESP uh, plugins. I'm going to move it over here, and I usually drop it just above the window, uh, but I'm going to click once in here, and I'm just going to type ESP. And then on the left hand side you can see my ESP plugins and I'm just going to grab them one at a time, drag and drop them underneath the ESP menu, edit vision data, ESP screen, and the exporter, and then click OK. What you will notice now is that Vision will, I'm sorry, Vectorworks will now add an ESP menu item here at the top, which gives you access to those three uh, Vision plugins. The final thing that we need to do here is we need to add the symbol library that we downloaded uh, to our new favorites, our, our resource browser as a favorite file. So we're going to go here to add new favorite file. And we're going to go to the applications vision folder and you'll see here the ESP symbols underscore 2015 file that we just downloaded. It's important not to copy or move this file around because every time we add new symbols or add new fixtures within vision, this is the file that gets updated. Uh, so we, you don't want to ever be in a situation where your files can get out of sync because then you're going to be looking for a symbol, looking for a fixture, and it's not going to be there. Finally, then we can come here to our ESP symbols 2015 in our resource browser, and here are all of the different fixtures that are currently available uh, for you to use in any of your models that you're using uh, to create in Vectorworks for purposes of vision. This is AJ. I hope you found this tutorial to be educational and entertaining. Thank you for watching.